today we are going to talk about measures and attributes in data warehouse so for measures we will see what is a measure what are grains types of measures which are additive non-additive and semi-additive and we'll talk about facts for attributes we will see what is an attribute why is it important what are the key performance indicators and why are the kpis important and we'll talk about dimensions so now what is a measure in definition measure is basically a quantitative property of data warehouse which helps us with calculations okay now when we talk about calculations calculations are majorly aggregations aggregations as in some average so measures generally help us to measure the complete performance of a company so those are the quantitative part of the data warehouse now basically a measure should have a logical meaning after aggregation measures if you understand these are basically numbers so consider uh, you are using room number okay now suppose there is room number 102 uh, 301 okay so these are numbers but that does not mean if you add this two number and it becomes 403 and this implies something okay so this does not have a logical meaning so we cannot aggregate these two numbers so these are not measures these are not measures so this is how you identify what can be measured and what is not it should have a logical meaning and it is very important because sometimes people just understand that if it is a number then it should be measure no that is not correct every number does not give you a logical meaning after aggregation that is important about measure there are basically three type of measures in data warehouse so we'll talk about all of them three types okay so the first one is additive the second one is semi additive and the third one is non additive we'll take examples for all of them so what we'll do is we'll have one fact for inventory this is our inventory fact we'll discuss about facts and dimensions in the later courses with example just take it example okay so we have a date we have product okay we can have store these are few of the dimensions okay now suppose we have measures called total sales okay suppose balance of the products that are left and we can have one thing called profit margin okay we'll take one by one so now to understand this what is total sales so we'll take first example the total sales okay now if you see we can aggregate this total sales across all dimensions and that would give us a logical meaning see that is what we are talking about the aggregation should give you a logical meaning so we can say total sales against date okay we can say total sales per day we can say total sales per month okay so this can be aggregated across date dimension and that would give you meaning we can say total sales of a product we can say total sales of a product category that would give you a meaning right and again we can say total sales of a store a or total sales of a store b that would again give you one meaning so this can be summed across all the dimensions right that is why this is additive so additive is summed across all dimensions okay now semi additive is something where we cannot sum it across all dimensions we can sum it across some of the dimensions okay now consider balance balance is something that is at a point of time so if a product has for example 20 so suppose i have a product a that the current value is 20 i have 20 pieces of product a and similarly in product b i can have 23 now can i sum this across date dimension no you cannot sum product a and product b across date dimension right so at point of time that is 20 and uh, suppose tomorrow it is 23 product a you cannot add 20 and 23 for product a right because that would not give you a meaning because the total value right now is 23 so you cannot sum it ac across date 
but you can check it against product right you can say what is the product right now product a 23 okay you can check it against store as well so for a particular store what is the product uh, what is the balance of the total products right that that can be some but it cannot be summed across date so this is something which is semi additive okay this is semi additive now let's talk about profit margin so profit margin is something suppose a store has profit margin on a particular product so when they sell a product they have a profit margin of 23 percent some has a profit of 50 percent okay so this is something with percentage okay so you have to be very careful about non-additive facts this is one of the non-additive facts so you cannot sum your uh, uh, you cannot sum your non-additive facts across any dimension okay this cannot be summed across any dimension okay when we talk about cannot be summed across any dimensions this simply means that you cannot sum for a for example you cannot sum product a will have a profit margin of 25 percent and product b has a profit margin of 55 percent that does not mean your store has a profit margin of 100 percent right that does not mean that is wrong so you cannot sum it across date you cannot sum it across product you cannot sum it across store so this is why this is a non-additive fact 